John, I've got you a present in this golf bag. I finally got some. Ooh, let's do it. in times and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I finally have some, the golf balls from Lidl. These are the Crivet, um, the Crivet, I think is basically Crivet. what they're called. Premium three-piece golf ball, distance meets control, John. Can you believe that? <laughs> not in my game, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh <laughs> there we go. No control round they're here, obviously mate. not round, are they? So, <laughs> we're tonight at Willie Park Golf Club, Sunday night. It's a beautiful evening. We've got the course to ourselves. We've got nothing better to do. Drink beer. Drink beer. Go oh no, golf sucks, drink beer. Oh, there you go, there you go. So we're gonna test these. I like that. Big fairway, you like that? I need that. <laughs> now, usually, when we test these golf balls, guys, we obviously get them in the simulator, get them in the studio, test them for ball speed, test them for spin rate, test them for everything else. If you'd like to see that, guys, get in the comments below and let us know. But tonight, we're gonna use these golf balls for exactly what they're supposed to be used for. We're probably gonna lose them in a couple of shots. <laughs> well, if we don't, she will. Yeah, she'll be, she'll be having them. Where's the other one gone? Oh, there. Yeah, Turf Dog 2's over there. Right, um, issues have both got number ones, but huge thanks to, to Brian Hamilton, a subscriber that sent me these. If you did watch the video where I traipsed around not one, not two, not three, not four, but five Lidls, I couldn't get hold of any of these Crivet balls, so they must be very, very sought after. And um, that's the message that John's girlfriend, not John's girlfriend, that's oh. the message that Brian's <laughs> girlfriend very nearly sent in them, but she didn't. She just sent them to Woolly Park Golf Club. So, John, what are you playing off now? Um, I've no idea. Has it gone up? Has it gone down? Has it stayed similar? I think we're similar? static. Nine? Nine? Think, yeah. Go with nine? So we'll I'll give you, um, we'll play whichever holes we come across. I like it. Yeah, and we'll just give you whatever shot we'll you We'll make need. it up as we go along. As we normally do. Well, it's a bit of a oh, necky one. wonderful. She's a necky. Ooh, it could that's, be. That's Ooh. in play, isn't it? We don't know. We don't know. We'll see when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm also a Crivet one, so let's hope that they don't go in. Well, I'll tell you what, if mine's out of play, I'll be playing yours. <laughs> <laughs> so feel-wise, they actually feel quite firm. You mentioned earlier that they're almost like an AVX cover. It's definitely got that sort of dimple pattern to it, hasn't it? But for this price, you're not going to get the soft feel of a Pro V1 or a TP5. It's just not going to happen. We'll talk about the price in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. But for that ball flight, the price almost doesn't matter, does it? It's kind of irrelevant. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Hands me. Right, so let's talk a little bit of tech about these, let's be fair, budget golf balls. But the only real tech I can find about these balls is on the box. John, did you know they are a three priests? Three, three priests? Priest. A three piece construction. Isn't there a joke about three priests? I don't know, if there is, we'll leave uh, it there. Maybe I'll leave yeah, that there. Is, we'll leave that there. <laughs> so they're a three-piece construction. They are a poly buntadine core. Never heard of that, That's have you? new on me. I've heard of lots of cores, but never that. That's for optimal acceleration and greater range. It's like me. Greater, all these, like, it's almost like they haven't really gone to the lengths of looking into, so the, the company, Crivet, they make tents, they make waders, they make fishing oh, equipment, really? they make tennis. They literally, they make everything. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing it on the video. You yeah. were like, trivet everything in little. So it's almost like they've not... Is it little or Aldi? Little. Little. I think. Little, yeah, little. Uh, they have a Dewpoint trademarked, trademarked HPF 2000 polymer mantle. I've heard of a polymer mantle before. Yes, that rings a bell. That does ring a bell. That's for a soft feel on impact and more mm. control for shots on the green. Wonderful. Which is what you want. All, I'm not going to lie, all I would expect to hear from a kind of marketing thing of a golf ball on the side. Dew point sirline cover for low friction and high resilience. So that means it shouldn't tear Basically, up as easily. Basically everything you've read off that box describes me. <laughs> Acceler we've got acceleration, excellent. We've got resilience, excellent. <laughs> What else about some sort of funky core? That's definitely me. Polybuntadine. <laughs> yeah. I think I've said that. I think right. I'm basically well, made out of and that. And if you look at it, I'm going to show you here. And if you look at the launch angle and trajectory that's claiming, the premium three piece balls, distance meets control, just goes higher and further than a conventional ball. Wonderful. What more could you want? Will it do, will it play golf for me? No. When it says conventional ball, though, I always wonder like, 
What does that really mean? Right, so John, you're here. There's no shots on this hole, right hand rough. Crivet one. I'm actually up on the centre stripe in the fairway, which I can't I can't contain my delight with, to be fair. With your ball striking prowess, I'd expect nothing less. The good news is we only have three golf balls. We've not lost one yet, so I think the video's safe. Wonderful. What have we got? We have 102 yards. Are you going to play this any different because it's a little ball? Well, it's not a little ball, but it's you know what I mean. Ball. No, I think we're just going to play it as we would. I think we'll uh, fingers Hard crossed. Wedge, middle of the green. Got a little gap wedge. Oh, gap <laughs> wedge. Oh, they've gone. <laughs> <laughs> and hope and just hope for the best <laughs> as we often do oh this could be perfect if it's the club oh it is as well we like crivet <laughs> straight down to little pick up a lasagna and yeah. some golf balls get, get me some of them balls <laughs> i said i felt all right i'm not gonna lie yeah. i felt all right yeah. And you see, the amazing thing for me there, I'm joking about going down to Little, picking up lasagna and some golf balls, but when you can go and get your ketchup, your toilet roll, everything you need, and then you obviously need ketchup, and then your golf ball's in the same place for like 16 quid. Notice how the dog's backed off when I got a wedge in my hand. Yeah, they're mm. conditioned, aren't they? Yeah, they know. Psychology it's thing. That Pavlov's dog. Pavlov's dog, that was it, wasn't it? Right, you hit a gap wedge there, did you? Yeah, just a nice little gentle gap wedge. I'm gonna go wedge then. No, well, I'm going to do the same with a sand wedge. <laughs> Look how that ball's sat there now. Just, it's almost like the Tiger Woods marketing dream at the Masters. Oh, delicious. We've not moved that, we've not placed, but that's just in the perfect place. I can see it now. I can see it now. Little across the back of your neck there. <laughs> It'd be ideal. <laughs> only, when the, only when the channel dies and I'm pushing the trolleys and stuff. <laughs> right, is this enough club, John? It's going to kick forward anyway. Yeah, isn't it? yeah I think you'll be fine. Higher trajectory we should, trajectory we should get. Oh, oh go, 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 chase. This is a true, t oh, it has as well. I'll tell you what, that's not done bad. It certainly wasn't the best strike, I'm not going to lie. No, but, you know, I we'll could tell by it. the lump of fairway you've taken out for me. <laughs> At least it was not a lump of dog. <laughs> true. <laughs> and you see, it's funny I should hit that, because I always come to the same points when we test golf balls. How good do you have to be to see a noticeable difference with the golf ball you play? throughout the course of a hole, a round, a season. Obviously, I'm in the category of the better player, I'd like to think, being a PGA professional. You'd think so. I mean, I'd duff that one, but yeah. I could duff anything. True that. So throughout the course of, I think it's more around the green. So like, if I chip this, I'm gonna try and put a little bit of stop on it, some control on it. If it doesn't do that, I'd notice a difference more there than if yeah. it cost me five yards off the tee. Yeah, I think, I think that's the case. And I think it probably should be the case for everybody. I know Price is eventually gonna win out. Yeah. But I think, let's face it, it doesn't really matter what ability of golf you're at. The one thing that is gonna save you more shots is control around the greens. Absolutely, but then also, the guy who's wanting more control around the greens, is he walking to Little and picking up 12 of these? Maybe. maybe well, maybe, I, mean, I don't know. I like Little. Yeah, but for the golf stuff. Well, maybe now, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is quite decent actually. I'm gonna get yeah. It's done well, semi rough light and it's stopped. Yeah, certainly not my best shot. And this is actually very difficult. This shot's probably harder than the shot that we've just duffed. So, but we're gonna send some loft to it because I still haven't seen Chris for a while anyway. So, lob wedge on it. Oh, that's delightful. I'll go on then. Oh. <laughs> Would have expected a little bit more stop, just a touch with that strike. Soft. Yeah, there was plenty of. of I think you could have. I think you you throw a what are you TP5X at that. Yeah. I reckon you're going to see a bit more check on that first bounce. Certainly the second one. Strike was certainly good enough to warrant a little bit more it stop. Sounded nippy. I tell you, what, I think that's still me. It's still on. It's still me. But I'm not going to lie. I'll take that. I'd take that. I'll be quite happy with that. What for your shot? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like five foot. Yeah, no, but like stopping. Oh, yeah. Like semi yeah, yeah. Right, I'd take that. I'm sorry. I had my first experience yesterday. Ooh. First time I've played with no yeah. flags. Delightful. So the alignment tool on it's nice and big. You can see it. it says big fairways. I don't know if that's like a positive mental attitude quote or not. wants to say big old cups on it, doesn't it? It should say big cups, you're right, John. Mm. That's a bogey five, that to, to kick things off. Maybe not big cups, I'm not sure if that's a... I like big cups and I cannot lie. 
<laughs> Let's see a bird. Make, make me feel better about my bogey. Little bogey. It's a nice alignment, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like it. That's a bold. Oh, that's Boom. just delightful. New ball for the season. Oh, that's it. Sign me up. Do they, the are, they are we saying it's called a Crivet Big Fairway? It's not, is it? It can't be. I like that name, though. I think that should stick if Crivet it's not. Golf. Crivet Golf, the big fairways. Like it. <laughs> so, John, that's a birdie to start. What happened in your round yesterday in the comp? I found fairway off the first. Yeah. Then it went downhill from there. You weren't using a crivet, were you? I'm not going to lie. It was mainly your fault. Oh. Go on. Well, you got us all drunk, didn't you? I did get everyone <laughs> drunk, yeah. It was my birthday, to be fair. <laughs> I should probably say, guys, it's been a very busy week. So, not only was I in Northern Ireland, we also had the inaugural James Robinson Golf Day, which... What a day. It was a success. It was a great success. I think everyone had a good time. So huge thanks to everyone that came. If you did come, if you can't, we will be doing another one next year. Um, and then it was my 30th birthday, which I'm still depressed about. But we had... We gave it a kick, Boom. mate. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, we kicked your 30s off well, didn't we? We did. Let's uh, retire back to the whites on this one, John, I think. Ooh. Because you've birdied that one, so we'll... So you're just trying to sneak some advantages? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Not going to lie. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> That's less than ideal, dog. <coughs> oh, it's just delightful. Look at that ball fly, it's high, man. It is high, isn't it? For me, it's high. Not quite penetrating, Safe. but, yeah. Straight enough as well. Yeah, we're happy at that. Huh. Right. This is my favorite club at the moment. Let's see how it reacts with the little ball. Little ball exclusively at little exclusive can't even get them on ebay tried really what hell <laughs> oh that is delightful that's mashed felt good sounded good down the middle distance wise Pipe. let's have a look piped it aren't you yeah i like that oh sounded lovely cheers mate i'll be going to pick up some more ketchup and loo roll at this right if it is I well, like the it. thing is, I couldn't get them as well. That's the thing that's surprising. Could be the first golf ball I've ever sent our last to buy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of the things that surprised me, and one of the things that why I didn't want to give up on this video. So last time, like I said, I went to numerous Littles. I even went to one in Blackpool when we went and played at St Anne's or Link last week. They didn't have any there. I know, just like we're driving <laughs> like past. You're upset. Driving past, I was like, oh, Little, I'm going to have to go in. Nothing. There were gloves left. There were umbrellas left. Like I said cagoules and all sorts but, as well yeah See but no i wonder if they've seen what costco have done with the kirkland and thought you know what we'll have a bit of that we're having a bit of that mm, um like and it. you know what if it were i mean it's a perfect night for golf mm. there's no wind it's it's the greens are receptive it's lovely james of bogey the first john's birdie the first but yeah. that it don't get any better than that it doesn't get any better <laughs> than that you're right so if it is okay for 16 quid a dozen that's cheap isn't it? it's cheap, cheap isn't it? man I mean, if we sent Fox out with a dozen of these and they hit one in there, one in there, one in there, another one in there, and then three over there. We can literally walk, we can we walk can away it, from them all. Whereas if there's a dozen Pro V1s at 40 quid. My God, we'll like them too. We'll couple, like them. Yeah. <laughs> you're spending a couple of minutes sending in, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. So, so John, I'm going to say that that's well judged to avoid that bunker. Know your course, mate, isn't it? Well, you, no one knows your course better than you, mate, do they? Well, What's some... it like for distance compared to maybe what if you would hit a ETP5 at the moment, Pro V? Pro VX, usually. Yeah. I'd say about the same, really. Yeah. Yeah. Usually would be. Obviously, it would be great to get into the studio and do some testing. So, guys, let us know if that's what you want to see. I don't want to throw loads of content at you around a cheap golf ball from Lidl if none of you are bothered. I think people might be bothered, though. This is going to be interesting because I love this flag position. I love sending it long and trying to get a bit of backspin You're back. You're obsessed with this flag position. I'm right? obsessed with it, mate. You're right. It's still in your flag position, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Any feedback from the flag positions? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> People did not like your they front nine. They did not nine. like them. Mind you, they didn't really like Stu's back nine either. I dare fair. say Stu's back nine was a lot worse than my front nine. <laughs> I've played them, actually. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a chunky left oh, one. That's a four left. And we shall be testing the short game. Ooh, funky one. So guys, while I walk forward to my golf ball, get in the comments below, because it's imperative to me that you're part of these videos. Would you use this golf ball? 16 pound, I keep saying 16, it's either 13 or 16. I think it's 16. I'll put the price on screen properly now for you. Would you use them? Would it be something that maybe 
you'd buy when you're at the shop, your partner would buy for you when you're at the shop, you, whoever would buy for you when they're doing the shopping. Or for a three piece golf ball at that price, would you literally just go and get loads of them, stock your boots up with them? 104 playing 106. So we can land this about 110 and it should be about perfect. What about for a winter ball? Because that's always interesting. Some well, people yeah. have winter balls. Some people balls, like to play a winter ball, don't they? Right. Into a little bit of wind as well. That's left as well. Ooh, another lefty one. We blame that on the golf balls now. Oh, that's gone long as well. Ooh. I can't really blame that on the ball. It has gone further than <laughs> I expected. But it's... So I love this flag position until you leave it long and you're left with egg on your face. I'm going to send another one in quickly to see on the spin because I do want people to gauge what it's like. Right, perfect lie, perfect flag position and even clean grooves. That's the one. Mm, that long? No, that's good. Oh yeah. Is it coming down? That's released, hasn't it? it yeah, it's not. That hasn't like... It's not zipped, has it? No, it's like I gone think forward and forward. Come. So out of interest, I played exactly the same shot from probably about here with the TP5X at the golf day a few days ago. And I'll show you the differences when we get up there because, oh, I thought we were going to battle for this divot. Look at that, she's got a great look on her face. Ooh. Right, let's test this ball again for a bit of short game. Proper in-depth testing this. None of this, send it in the green and put it in for birdie. They want to see a proper test, mate. True that. That's it. Oh, it's not done bad though. That could have been a lot worse. Could have been worse, but that definitely, you know, it just slides up the club face a little bit. Yeah, instead of grabbing. Yeah. So let's have a look and see if we can find where this pitched, because that's going to be really the big story. I mean, it's flag high, so we can't really complain with that. But I felt uh, like, oh, if it's pitched on there, then we can't really stop. Yeah. Not really fair. It's so likely it? to be a firmish bounce off there. I would say that's probably looking how fresh it is. Because there's nothing on green, is there? No. And that's the first shot long. Hmm. Not ideal, this one. Oh, I tell you what. It's delightful pace. Just go left a bit. You couldn't have played that any better, mate, I don't think. No. Enjoyed that. Flag out again, treating ourselves. I tell you what, I will make the most of this now. Yeah. I feel like I've served, I've served. It's not having a flag out. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you that, is that for a five? That's a five, mate, yeah. Right, this for the half. No, for the win. No, that's for the win, that's for the win. Big fairways. Big fairways, even bigger cup. Box it. Beautiful. That's a par. Crivet, all day, little. <laughs> I mean, are we going to see now the start of supermarket walls? I supermarket what, golf walls, Costco, don't Aldi, you think it brings, Don't you think it brings a, like a, a fresh sort of look on golf though because like the big yeah. brands have had such a monopoly for so long yeah you know you, i mean uh, for how many years have folk played pro v1s exactly you know, if one of these guys gets it right it, well kirkland are kirkland, not far off yeah they're not really and i mean you know if one of them gets it right it's really going to put the cat amongst pigeons in it absolutely is you know and rightfully so right john now we're back to level i think we've got the yellows on this one <laughs> <laughs> it is a shot hole for you, so yeah, I'm going to try and snook you with a shot though. Quite a difficult hole as well actually, I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, do you know shot. what, I hate it from down here, don't mind it from up there. Oh good, I'm glad we moved then. Yeah. But more importantly... Ah, oh, what colour are we on? Shallow. Call it. Orange. God damn it, did you is see it? that? No I didn't. <laughs> I, was, I, I thought what colour I wanted it to be. Damn it. Yes. Straight in with the orange. You want Thank like you. Golf bag. Ah, right, dog. I need this. I'm going to have it after up. I hit my drive, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm going to psych myself up with it. Yeah. Oh, stop it. That's delightful. Centre stripe there for none. Oh, just chasing through 150s now. Oh, delightful. I am going to reward myself <laughs> with that black currant starburst. Or opal fruits for anybody that's a bit older. 
Oh, pull Like you now. <laughs> no, no, I still know the starburst. <laughs> well, that's upset me, that shot. Big fairways. It's not the best strike, so we can't really test it, but we're taking it for the match all day. All He'll day. take it. So slightly disappointed not to hit kind of a career drive there, because I've been driving the ball quite well. Stephen Brown on the European Tour said that I was a really good driver of the golf ball. Did he? I was like, no, Stephen, I'm not. <laughs> but thanks for saying it. You've caught me on a good day. Also, huge congrats to Liam Harrison, who was carrying for Danny Gavins today, and they've won the ASPS Happy. handy. Yeah, they've won. So, huge, like, over the moon from there. I actually spoke to them on Tuesday when I saw them, and um, Liam didn't even know that Danny had took his tour bag for him. <laughs> so that's how the week started and it ended with a trophy so fantastic yeah well done boys right john the good news is there's two balls in the big fairway oh they're both ones they're both ones oh mine's the long one which i one hit are you it taking? well <laughs> which one are you taking i'm not bothered mate i'm gonna get i mean to be honest mine was a terrible strike i did not mine so it's probably gonna be me the long one but i'm joking i'll go with this one <laughs> i definitely saw mine bounce through the 150s mm, well, eyes, you, eyes you know, like the old john if that's how you want to win mate then Oh, I will win any way I can, James. That's fine. In worse news, I can't find my starburst. I fear that... Oh, I see, I've got it. I got 139. So I must have about 150. I'm going <laughs> to hit an 8. See how the ball reacts. Let's try and put a good swing on this. Flag's on the left side, so we can afford to just let it draw in a touch. Get up. Go. Fly. Have I scabbed that up there? <laughs> I can sound like the best strike. It wasn't the best strike. It's on green. I don't know if it's run or not. We'll take it. You know what? I am going to treat myself to a starburst now. What did I say? I got 139. 189. 189. Sound. Oh, delightful. Is that a nine? That's a nine. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, top decked it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Nice strike. I am having that. Thoughts on the ball one. flight there? It was nice. Mm. Clipped it nicely. I apologise for the audio of the last 20 seconds, but that starburst was well worth it. Yeah. Like A ASMR, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you, this video might go through the roof. You never know, do you? There you oh, yeah. Just stick that stick that in the title, yeah. and then you're going to open up a whole new audience. Not much of an audience we want, John. <laughs> no, potentially not. Oh, look, John, we're both on the green. They're two good shots. No. No, James. They are not. Why? What's, what was wrong with them? Yours pitched about here. So, <laughs> I'll tell you what I did there, John. I used the, what's it called? <laughs> I used the Dewpoint TM HPF 2000 polymer mantle just to make sure that it went where I wanted it to. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is not your pitch mark, by the it way. It is. No, it's not. It is. That is not your pitch that mark. That is my pitch mark. It just released up a bit. Yours came backwards. A strike mate great strike so to be honest getting the scientific head back on for a second that's good isn't it not bad with low spin irons is it yeah i mean very 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 low spin iron mm. right you've got a shot haven't you so there's every chance i'm not getting this anywhere near that bro <laughs> you were so bad to walk that right in. I wasn't, because I've learned from my mistakes in the past. You know what? That's just a, a good, honest four. There was nothing honest about that strike. Well, one man's potato is another man's li livet, cri no, crivet little ball. I'm going to say for, with, a, with a shot, there's a little bit left on that. Jeez. Can you place the flag down next time, please? <laughs> Thank you. I did a lot of work on these greens, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Dolly one. No, it's how I nearly pushed that and missed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice that yet. You've got history. Yeah, true. <laughs> right, guys, Dolly one. Do you want to repeat what you've just said, John? Yeah, I was just saying, one of the happiest things in my life is to be Dolly one on you because it means I can't finish completely embarrassing myself three down. Unless you snap up this and then walk to the bar. Fair Got shout. half though, wanna? <laughs> yeah, that's a fair shout. Um, so the only real course of action now is to smash driver 
as hard as physically possible, try and get as far down as we can. Oh. And then, to be honest, where that flag position is on the 18th, we're not making bird anyway, so. No, basically, that's just going to pitch middle at green, feed to the left. You'll probably degreen it, actually. And then hopefully chip in or something close. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice right now if we've just called that? Yeah. Hmm. I feel like this <laughs> yeah, is... Yeah, I think we did, actually. <laughs> just need the chip in now, don't we? Basically, we spoiled, we, there was a spoiler about 10 minutes ago. Sorry, guys. More, more likely the three put though, but yeah, yeah. That that really is a stupid place. Yeah, you're to really sit. not safe there. Yeah, especially definitely. with that over the top action, you're getting your tongue taken off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over the top though, is it? It's the opposite. Oh dear. Severely into out. Oh, a bit of a healy bob. It's another we'll decent one though. We'll take it. Oh, I've never seen a ball kick left there Have in my life. Never seen that before. That was wonderful, wasn't it? That was nothing short of disgusting. At least nothing gonna, short of a miracle, At least friend. we know that we're going to know whose ball's who's next, because I'm not going to be anywhere near that. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you got that on camera. Oh, wait, you did. Nice and sociable, bro. <laughs> it's about 30 past you, it's in the rubbish. <laughs> ah. I'm James and I won't be anywhere near that shot. <laughs> Bet you wish you'd got that left bounce now, don't you? Yeah, where was my left bounce? <laughs> I mean, in total honesty, I nuked one on my golf day down to the left and it, that flag doesn't suit the left hand no, drive, so. Learning always. Um, what we can take from the ball flight, I did quite enjoy that ball flight actually. It was like nice, high and penetrating. Not much movement on it, just a little bit right, John. Yeah. But if I'm going to miss it right, I'm really not that bothered. Tell you what, it's living up to its hype. It's not bad, is it? Because if I've hit that fairway now, that's a really big fairway. <laughs> yeah. And it's also because it, for all intents and purposes, it was missing that fairway. <laughs> it's also nearly three fairways out of three. Four? No, no, two out of four. Two out of four is not bad for me. No, no, not quite meatloaf, but so John, we've got two golf balls, one in the fairway, one thirty yards past, but in the rough. Fairway finder, mate. But you see, ideally, what happens here now is the ball releases from the rough to that back flag location, and it's it's the perfect drive. Rolls over the back. No. 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 I'm going to say, John, it's about 150. Maybe 160 with the flag. I was going to say, you'd be wrong, because it's 159. Yeah, see? Let me finish my sentence, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it hangs on, it's ah, turning it's a bit. not, is it? Is he going to kick left? Oh, that's... Uh, in fairness, you're chipping up the hill. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. No shots here, is there? Oh, yeah, there is. You're joking. I... Oh. We'll double check, but I think it's stroke index nine. Oh, <laughs> having me on. I'm going to say this is about 140. I'd measure it, but you wouldn't care. I don't care. 140, nine iron, release out a bit. It's going to turn right to left on that line anyway. Roll in for birdie. Thanks for coming, little golf balls. Oh, go on then. Oh, is that cutting? Keep left. That's never gone long. Oh my god, iron. it's huge. Ah! Now that was really interesting because when the ball got to its top of its flight, it seemed to carry on going. Did you get that when you mm. when it? Yeah, it just it just visually it kept seemed climbing, yeah. didn't it? So is that a positive or is it a negative? Because it's not quite consistent, really. Or, like, I mean, you can't really say you can't say anything about consistency when you've just fatted the last iron shot out of the middle of the fairway. It was thin, actually. Sorry, John. thinned thin. it. Yeah, fatted yeah. it on the first. Fair, fair. Hit it, hit it well there. Yeah, hit it well there. So yeah. if you learn to play it and hit it well, I think what John's trying to say is if you learn to play golf better, the ball will go where you want it to go, and I totally agree with him. So um, there's a comprehensive review. <laughs> yeah, basically, golf. good golf ball does what it says on the tin. Goes a long way as long as you hit it well for the price. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Very good. Right, one pin high left, one long. Did we not call this? I feel like this <laughs> yeah, is... Yeah, I think we did, actually. <laughs> just need the chip in now, don't we? Basically, we spoiled, we, there was a spoiler about 10 minutes ago. Sorry, guys. <laughs> do you play this to spin and check, or do you play it to release out? you got to assume it's going to release out, innit? <laughs> really? <laughs> are you, whose team are you on? I'm going to give you that for four. Job done. Job done. Cheers, bruv. Well, there's only one route for this golf ball then, mate. 60 degree. 
drop it, drop it like it's hot. You know what, John? Take the flag out. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that Ooh. released. That released on me. <sighs> well, that's what I think really is a pretty comprehensive review of, it's still going, look, of the little Crivet golf ball. Is there anything you'd like to add? For the price. For the price. It's all right. It's a golf bag. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, smash that subscribe button below. Also, make sure you do leave us a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks to John and the guys for getting us out. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. And it's still going, look. What about that in, though, Papa? Oh. And apart from that, I very much look forward to seeing you at the same time tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.